Who's to not run it properly? I don't know what you mean by not run it properly. To have rebels that Meng has. But actually, man, if if I can get Meng as my PU or Faso, I would deal with his rebels, alright? Like <laughs> If I can get Meng as a PU or Faso. Fucking A, man. Like I am definitely doing it. Okay, maybe another time we can uh, get Aragorn as a PU. Another chance. PU is so hard to keep loyal. No, PU does. PU is easy. Ming Falso is bullshit, but Ming PU is fine because PU doesn't care about development. You see? PU does not care about development. That's the thing. Falso, big Falso, is a problem because development. Like giving loyalty desire. And, but even then, like, you can also develop the land, right? Developing the land just straight up, like, give you a my negative percentage, so it's not that big of a problem. Well, I'll take it anyway. I don't care. I'm going. We're the biggest dude in the world right now with friend, powerful friends. I'm going for it. I'm going ham. What's your goal of the campaign? The achievement, man. Achievement. I'm an achievement whore right now. I mean, you can conquer the world with it, obviously. But what fun would it be? I mean, it's England. Like, I am, I am, I have all this shit right now. Like, Burgundy, Fra like I have all the France and Britain, and now I'm getting Scandinavia as well. Like conquering the world is gonna be so easy, especially I am going. To I can be the emperor. So. Completion rate for achievement. This is like my last one, I think. I mean, like, I, I, I actually reset my achievement, like something like in 2017, because I've done all everything or almost everything. I don't remember, but like it was like funny because I was like, yeah, I got nothing left to do, so I'm gonna reset it and do it again. Cause why the fuck not? Okay, we got more, uh... Light ships. So we can sell them for money. Just a casual reset. Exactly. I mean, at the time I was... I also have a shitload of time on my hand, right? Like, I was a student. And being a student means you just got too much, like, time on your hands and... Not to mention the fact that, uh, not to mention the fact that I was still a popular YouTuber before YouTube taking a chance and fucking kicked me like, off the platform for no reason. So, you know. 
Well, if someone told me yesterday that uh, there's some EU law or something that, that, that actually, like, says if they don't, if they take any chances or something, then EU can find you to, for hate speech or something, which is a subjective thing, mind you. But so they, they just randomly ban people because, like, it could have been. Once the school is working 40 hours a week on top of it, like, how the fuck do you, like, be in school and you're working full- Like, 40 hours is working full time, bro. You should be paid accordingly for that. Like, I would not work at all if that's, like, the case, you know? It's full time for most. Well, 40 hours is normal here. It's like 8 hours a day, 5 days a week. I mean, the when you're working... I mean, I'm just gonna say like... I'm not a guy who has a lot of experience in working so far, obviously. But the point being that uh, when you're working, from what I have understood... It is kind of important that you pretend to be working very hard when you're not. Norway hates me though. So I don't think they would actually pay for it. I mean, what, what, what do we need to buy again? Like, why do we want to buy it anyway? Conquer Ireland. Unify the Isles. Uh, I don't think I want to pay for it, because we can just vassalize Norway. Two hundred bucks for a free dev island, no, fuck it. <laughs> just conquer it, man. <laughs> Save myself two hundred bucks. Anyway, like, yeah, from what I've heard, is that you, you wanna... Be like pretending to be very busy, you know, like I mean it's just one of those office politic things, I suppose. So I work at 5 p.m. until 12 and Yeah, that sucks, man. Like that you that's child labor. Your parents should have done the better job. That is bad, man. You shouldn't have to do it, like, when your job was studying. Like, you're supposed to focus on studying and fucking do a good job studying and so... That. Slavery. I wonder if it's like, Well, yeah, actually, it is kind of slavery. I mean, it doesn't matter even if you like the job or anything. It's just the fact... Or you get paid very well. It's just the fact that you have no time for anything else. Which actually is stupid. Personal union with de Wait, what? Oh, chat. I am going for Sweden. I'm gunning for Sweden next. Integration cost. Nah, maybe not integration cost. Oh, complete mission seize French from Provence. Subject of England or is Brittany? Okay, Brittany and Provence dying. 
Peninsula shenanigans in Bordeaux. Franz at trust. Good, 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 good. Sehr gut. My subject likes me. Student waits to know well. Exactly. This is why I'm saying this is like fucking taking advantage of people. Frankly. I think this is just taking advantage of like it's like taking advantage of fresh graduates, you know? At least from my perspective. I I strongly dislike that. I'll sell more light ships. Formalized separation of power. I don't want to pay for that. 200 bucks for a piece of shit island? No. Screw that. April. Alright, I think next step would be Unite Ireland. Welcome to Canada. Oh, actually, I know a guy who is a bit similar to you when it comes to uh, university. I mean, university is a different thing, though. But uh, university means that a lot of people also have to work a shit ton to pay their tuition and or living costs because everything is just... It's, I mean, it's kind of funny because, like, UK and Canada likes to shit on the US, right? Like, it's just a fact. But it's like, it's, you still have to pay a ridiculous amount for university tuition in the UK or any English-speaking country. It's just, it's just, um... It's just like, um, like it's a business. All right, Scotland, Annex vessels. Well, I want to get this first, I think. It's free in Germany, I heard from somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it's it's free. I mean, it, it's not necessarily free. For example, in Baden-Württemberg, it's a, you have to pay like a couple hundred like for the semester fee or something like that. But the point is that you're not going to get, be paying like hundreds of thousands. Finland would like to shit Russians and Swedes. Yeah, of course. Thing is, like, uh, in English speaking, I mean, I, I, I know, like, it very well, right? Because I also came from a British, former British colony. And the thing is that, like, as much as, like, the U.S., people like to, like, just shit on the U.S., I, any other English speaking country is no better, is what I'm saying.
and our shift, you know, Sunday off. You know, that is just like, I mean, the thing is, you also need time to study, right? Like, you're not just like, oh, I'm going to go to school for eight hours and then I learn everything in school. You got to go home and then you're going to do something else. You need to do your chores, do your groceries, do everything else. And like you, st and then before, like you need to learn. Learning is needs repetition and all that, you know. It's ridiculous, man. I feel for you. You don't want to do it again. Yeah, nobody wants to do it, man. It's ass, is what it is. It's stupid, it's ass. Nobody should have to go through it. Honestly. This is just like taking advantage of students. It's actually not only students, right? Like the thing with the market is that like, for example, you can be um, a fresh graduate and then the companies will lowball you. For example. This is just one of those one of those things. The companies will lowball you. And um there's nothing you can do because either that or you don't get a job. And you have to find like you have to have some job experience like to start, right? So to start a career so there's not really much you can actually do like the the whole economy just sucks Yeah, we don't add on units. It's it helps with the performance of the game. Because as you all, all know, the performance suck balls. After like fifteen hundreds. I hope the Europeans don't care too much about Ireland. Russia is not make, leaving me much choice there. The ally at Aragon and, and, and Austria for no reason. Make sure he revokes. Well, what about the uh, leak war, for example, or like 1650 or something? I think you would have some problems there. Hmm. 
I guess you have a v extremely good computer then, because uh, the, the performance still sucked balls for me for most of the game. And honestly, I'm not fucking changing my CPU just because of one game. Merlin and Ottoman and Merlin Truth. Yeah, that too. There are a lot of things that could have fucked you over. Okay, more light ships to sell. Nice. Bonker Ireland, 75 admin power. Could produce unlock Crown of Ireland Parliament issue. Unite the Isles. Every own province are gain one production. Take an event which allows us to create Kingdom of Ireland under personal union. But why would I want to do that? Why would I want to create Kingdom of Ireland when I could just own it? Is it worth it? No. Governing cap. True, but the... Uh, you could just build courthouse and all of this, right? And never... and just keep them territories. I mean, eating up a diplomatic slot isn't any better, in my opinion. I just don't- I just would prefer to have more allies, for example. I mean, you can always get the stuff from, uh, the estate also for caps. Okay, sailing ship strat works. Sail ship strat works very well, apparently. Oh! If you take the PU, you get, uh, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Well, in that case, why did I even start coring it, though? Wait, second, did I even core it? Or well, a huge chunk of it is still alive. Plus one Diplo relations, unjustified demands. Yeah, I'll take the second one. Yearly prestige, very good. Yeah, but like, I don't need it. I'm already at 100 and still at, still going up. The point is that the Diplo relation stays for the whole game, right? That's that's a good thing. Especially we can still annex Iron and later. And I haven't core any of this, so... Then... Yeah, cancel all of this. 
Why not? Now we have uh, Ingairland, and we can buy this instead. Save some admin points. Like, the point is, I haven't even finished coring, right? That's the funny thing. So, why not just give it? Ireland, France, Burgundy, Scotland. Now we're getting Sweden. Now we are getting Sweden. We need a little spice there for Denmark. Why is all the rulers so shit? Hello, Paki! The strongest British male right there. Yo, you know what I did? I have Burgundy inheritance in fucking 1460s uh, for. 1464. Didn't even need to save scum. Straight up. Like, it was the best, best England opening I've ever had. I fucking start the game. I didn't even restart once, right? I just straight up start the game, go in, and then Burgundy rival France, Aragon rival France. So I ally Burgundy and Aragon right away. Like nothing, like first day we're talking about. Just straight up first day. Boot up the game, no restart needed. Fucking Burgundy friendly, Aragon friendly because they both hate France, we hate France. And they, I mean, Burgundy and Aragon hate each other, but it doesn't matter. Fucking Surrender of Mine, uh, surrender of mine uh, happens in, like, two years. We invite Burgundy, Aragon in. Aragon get punched into the, in the nose. We occupy France. Easy fucking France PU. Burgundy uh, dies, like, Charles dies before he hits 30. Burgundy inheritance, no restart needed. Bam! And then we fertilize Scotland while they are fighting Denmark, because Denmark attacked them. Bam! Fertilize Scotland, now we have fucking live back. And then Ireland, we didn't even need to core it. Just straight up finish the mission, bam, another PU. Easy. Now we are going to fertilize Sweden and destroy Muscovy. How that sound? Should have, at this point, should have actually make a special swarm and go straight for the Ottomans. What's the goal? We want to be the German Empire. We want to give, get some Lebensraum. And uh, we would go for the South. That saves coming because King died too early. Well, that was a different thing though, right? That was like, we just get out of the war with France and one year later the fucking guy died. And this is not exactly my fault and I don't have a... I don't have a mood to restart the whole game, right? So... After like, an, almost an hour that I played. I mean, people have better things to do with their time than... I never quite understand like, the streamers who's like, Oh, I never save scum, I just restart. Like, do you have better things to do? <laughs> nice! State maintenance, step cost modifier... But that was just one safe scum, right? I would say that was a pretty smooth sailing run so far. Soon we'll have more PU than Austria, honestly. <laughs> Good that i taken diplomatic ideas straight up. Like, holy shit, look at this. Eight diplomatic relations, like, in the first 30 years. Hot damn.
step. Cost modifier. Can I have someone else? I need to attack Denmark. I need to attack Denmark. I need to attack Denmark. I need to get Sweden. I need to get Sweden. How many PUs Austria have? None. No, but it's like you, you can get a lot of PUs Austria, right? Because of the mission tree and all that. We need to fucking attack Denmark, chat. We cannot let this guy slide. Denmark, no, Sweden must be under us. CB, yeah, we need a CB ASAP, which, which should happen in a month. Actually, don't we get claims over, uh, oh, it's just these. I thought we got claims on Eng uh, Norway or something. Sheet. Belish. Complete, wait, what do we need? Nevers. Oh, it's part. It's a vassal of France. That's fine. Just wait for France to integrate them. Smash Sweden, kill Custer Portugal in North America. Well, I kind of need... I don't want to take exploration, though. But we will see. I mean, since our focus is mainland Europe, I never... I never really care for the Americas. But maybe we can pick the colonies from them. At some point. We shall see about that. Improved relations 25%. Now we just need this and we are golden. Young Henry. How many Henry is there in England? Holy shit. Why is every king called Henry? I don't get it. Why is every king called Henry? <laughs> Do they have any other different names? I never understand European names, like, frankly. Like, you guys have all the same names, like... It's so weird. Henry and George were vast majority English monarchs. I, I know, but it's like, why do you name your child the same name over and over again? Like, it, it just feels so weird to me, right? Like, you have a child and like, they all name the same. So your brother's Henry one. No! No! Beach! <laughs> no! Oh, that failed. Wait, how much do I need for Sweden? How much, um... Shit. 
How much uh, Morse code do I need to fertilize Sweden? 80 or something? Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna try again. Like, let's have a look. Maybe we can piece... I mean, I think 55 is not enough, but... Uh... Shit, bro. That is uh, unexpected. Well, we can technically occupy Denmark long enough that Sweden peace himself out, white peace, but but then the thing is the war goal would be take Stockholm and Denmark can't do it, so Sweden will be winning the war and get war score anyway. So we can't, even if we waste time and drag it on, we can't actually do what we're doing. Guess we are actually having to give up Sweden and Norway this time. Ancestral worship. Bullshit, man. Like, Eng the, there's no ancestral worship, like, uh, culture in, in, in Europe, as I can tell. Oh, it costs 99. Yeah, that's uh, not exactly something doable anytime soon. Blockade Sweden maybe and try to do this. I don't know, like, the AI is definitely going for it. Yeah, I'm... Well, like I said, it's just one of those nice things we have to give up now, I suppose. Ninety-nine percent. I just can't. I can't. I can't get that. Like not. Not fast enough. It's just not possible. This is annoying. But at least now maybe we can full and extend Mark. So there's one less pain in the butt. Unless we want to fastlize Denmark and uh, <laughs> and then fight Sweden that way, but that that would be counterproductive. What is my governing cap? It's fine. I think maybe improve relations with some outraged countries that could help me. Dominate English Channel. The tradition has been carried forward and changed. It's an ancient tradition, is it? But then, like, when your father and your son has the same name, that's just weird, man. Honestly, I think that's just fucking weird. I mean, I mean, of course, I'm just saying that from uh, my own perspective. But it's just like... Your son and your father has the same name. It is just super, like, weird. It's like some weird worship. I mean, like you said, maybe it is a worship thing, but... Uh... We have... Uh, we don't improve relations guy, that's... Let's get some prestige then. I think in a year or two, it'll be 
fine. Like I said, it is just a matter of how much prestige we have. London Marketplace, yes. I'm not sure peasants did it much. It's a bit, way a bit creepy. It's the fact that, like, you can have the same name as father and sons, right? Like, if you have, like, your surname or whatever that carries over, I think that's totally fine, but... You know? Like, if like in Chinese, it's like your family name goes long, right? I mean, it's the same in Europe, but, you know. Having, like, it's like what I'm saying is like, you have the exact same name. First name and last name, exact same. Which is, that part is actually a bit weird. I think I'll take this one so we can core faster. Prussian ruler choosing the name of Friedrich or Wilhelm. Yeah, exactly. In Scandinavia, your father's name becomes your surname. Really? I know that in Russia, your father's name becomes your middle name. So, for example, if your father's name is Ivan, let's say your, 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 your father's name is Ivan, uh, Ivan, I don't know, uh, what was his name again? Uh, or like uh, Ivan Gorbachev, right? If your, name, your father's name is Ivan Gorbachev, and you are called uh, Drago, your, your name will become Drago Ivanovich uh, and uh, Gorbachev. Oh, so your middle name actually gets longer and longer and longer because like, it just keeps getting passed on. But console, am I wrong? If I'm wrong, you can like correct me. This is what I know though. Ivanova. Yeah, exactly. Combat bonus, war attack cost, colony development boost. Yeah, colony, that's fine. Still thin. Yeah. I mean, you have what? John and Johnson. <laughs> Literally called John and Johnson. <laughs> Don't we? <laughs> like, it's literally the company's name, right? John and Johnson. <laughs> Baby oil or something. <laughs> nothing in the, the cartoon. I thought you were gonna say Magnus Carlson. <laughs> Is Magnus Carlson the thing in Denmark? The guy.
He's not a vegan. Yeah, he is. I'm just making a joke. <laughs> From the... Well, he guy was talking about Denmark, right? I mean, technically, no vegan and Danish and Swedish are the same thing. I mean, you... Yo, Paki, you remember the... Did you play Civilization 6? Oh no, was it Civ 6 or Civ 5? There was like a scenario in Civilization about the invasion of the Vikings or something. Uh, Viking raids or some shit. And you can choose to play between Denmark, Norway or Sweden, but they actually have the... They are basically the same thing. Like, there's nothing... There's no difference in the... In the gameplay. And there's no difference in the abilities. And it's just like... They're just different in the name of the country. Was it 5 or 6 with the scenario? I think it was 5, actually. Invasion of Viking. It's like you just raid Europe with your boat. I think it was 5. I don't actually remember. It was 5. Yeah, exactly, it was 5. Then it was 5. Hey, banana, what's up? Not that far from yet, we got long for too long at the time. It, I mean, like I said, you guys are just the same people. Why wouldn't you get along? <laughs> right? I, I, like, don't punch me for that. Wait, you don't get along. Really? But I mean, the thing is, it's the same with the Germans, right? Like, all, the Germ all Germans are just different flavor of German. And they also don't get along with each other. I mean, to this day, even. Denmark and Sweden. Yeah, but like, it's, it's a different thing, right? The power struggle is not like you just hate each other type of... Uh, doesn't get along. That's a different thing, I think, so to speak. Ottomans, what the fuck? Ottomans is fucking pushing into Italy. Me when I see a Bavarian. Exactly, I mean, Bavarian hates, I think, Prussians the most. Um, and then Austrian hates Germany, even though they're just Germans. Bavarian being arrogant. I mean, you should not say that out loud. People might punch you for that. Do you want to get punched? Bavarian especially. They, they, they cannot stand any criticism. Swedes so were all that they just got messing for Sweden. <laughs> well, that's easy. Just throw rocks back. <laughs> Spit on them on the on your way through. <laughs> Something like that. Is France gonna integrate these guys? Actually, why is I why why is it why do I get a feeling that France is actually not integrating anyone? Throw rocks at them, stone them to death.
Well, let's keep a good relationship with the Pope. Because I need my PayPal credits from the PayPal bank. If you're dangerous, we're not shooting rockets at each other. Well, you know something I always tell people, right? Like, it's a human thing. You just don't like... Like, you mean... Like, within a village, you got people, like, neighbors hating on each other, having feuds, right? Just that is we're talking about within a fucking village of, like, one... Like, four families or something. That can happen. And then, like, we're talking, like, uh, what you got? Uh, you go to... An even smaller scale in an office. Like, fucking colleagues. Like, you just can't work together, right? Like, just... And, and even, like, video games. Right? You, 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 you know that you need to work together to win the game. And both parties want us to win the game, but you still got teammates flaming each other in a video game. It's like, you need to work together to survive, but people still can't do that. I mean, even though it is actually detrimental to yourself, do what you actually want. It's just like, you can't get over it, and then you still want to feel with other people, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, this is just humans, right? Now, isn't long that you can beat up a Swede to illegally cross the ice to get to Denmark during winter? Wait, what? Law? I don't think in the EU that would be legal, though. Born home. Where is born home? Like, oh, this one. Oh, isn't it just an island? But yeah. I mean, like, look at China. People talk about. China, like, being a big country and all that, but people kind of forgot the fact that, like, like, Chinese kill Chinese the most in history, like, by far. Ancient law that says that. Yeah, but like, it would be a very anti-EU and unconstitutional, isn't it? You're supposed to be friends with each other! I mean, hell, look at Indians. It's also the same shit. Like, the Southern Indians don't like Northern Indians and vice versa. This is something I know from my friend. Minus two national unrest. Diplomat. Advise the cost. Domestic trade power. Rest would be nice, but I don't need it. I think let's get this one. Expand the bureaucracy. Indians arguing was surprising to say the least. Well, India is never a very unified state in that sense, isn't it? Like, India is, like, just a rat pack band of people. Like, they're not, like, it's not like they have a massive, long history of being a one country and, like... I mean, let's put it this way. If China hates each other, like, if Chinese hate each other and would kill each other so much, even though we have a long history of being unified, what do you think? would happen to countries that are lo not ha like long unified, like, it's just simple, right? Like, <laughs> you can imagine that. Like, the EU, for example. The EU try to be, like, all, um, you know, inclusive and all that bullshit, but... Isn't it the same? What? Oh, we lost something. Well, we have an uncontested core. It's like a Pakistanis and Muslims. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's 
kind of the only thing the current government has been going on since forever, right? Like, outside of these, they have no real way to call up, like, a unit, like, a national, like, cohesion thing when trouble comes. Royal Army. Royal Army and stuff. Fuck the Navy. We are the bloody English. We don't care about the Navy. Parliamentary Administration Government Reform. Where is that? I don't even know where it is. I don't really care. Blah, blah, blah. What? Guess my king died. Oh, yeah. Definitely did. That is fine. Regency, though. Gonna cost me admin points. 25% more admin points. Don't really want to do that. Actually, wait a second. Do we need this? We don't need this. Okay, prestige. Now, can we full annex you? No, we cannot. Well, we can at least take all of Norway. Indian India has twenty four language for official status. Oh, does it? I actually don't know. I thought in as I thought uh Hin what was it? Udu and uh, what was it? Udu and the other one, uh Hindi or something it was called, I think. Was like the the one with official status, like the main two. Sweden is next. Sweden is our next step of expansion. Okay, it's actually Sweden is conquering that, so no luck there yet. We need to be at peace. I think we should also integrate Scotland after we take the pack back up. Hindi and Punjabi, I don't know man. Like, I think it was Udu or something, but uh, don't quote me on that, I'm not an expert. And honestly, don't really care about India. 